So let's talk about what you need to do to prepare for your treatment during your treatment and what to expect after any of your secret treatment. So I am talking about secret RF, which is a radio frequency microneedling. I am talking about the secret CO2, which is your CO2 ablative laser procedure. And a lot of times the combination of the two. So if you're just doing the secret RF needling, most of the work is happening underneath the surface of the skin, which means the post care is very easy. Pre-care, it's gonna be the same for all of them. Stay out of the sun at least one week before your treatment. If you are using any acids, stop those acids, especially if we have given you those acids, which a lot of times, especially for my darker skin patients, we have given you things to prepare for the treatment itself. Stop those three days before you actually come in for your treatment. You are gonna get numbing cream regardless of which treatment, secret treatment you're doing, you will need to numb for it. So we like to numb for a good 45 minutes before each of these procedures. If you don't have numbing cream, make sure that when you schedule your appointment, you are letting the staff know to build that time into your appointment for you. If you don't have that time, we can give you the numbing cream. You keep it in the refrigerator. You put it on like a thin layer, like you're buttering toast for about 45 minutes prior to your appointment. If you're doing a body area, and you're numbing it, we do like you to put a little bit of saran wrap to cover that area after numbing it so that not only are you not rubbing the numbing cream off on others, your clothes and your car seats and everything else, but you're also um, helping that numbing cream absorb a little bit better and a little bit faster by using that saran wrap in the area. When you come in, we will clean off all of the um, numbing cream if you have it on. Um, we'll get you to do a nice wash. Um, and then we'll do pictures before we do it. I know you guys hate pictures, but unfortunately, that is how we get to record all of our progress. Um, so you'll do the pictures when you actually do the treatment. If it's radio frequency microneedling, again, it's the needles that are going in. So you use a little bit of a Zimmer chiller. Um, we do the treatment afterwards, you're red. You're not really burning. You're not really dry. You're just red. That redness, the good thing is it lasts less than 24 hours. Honestly, by later in the day, you're completely fine. Um, if we are doing the CO2 portion of this procedure, whether it's with the CO RF or on its own, we do want you to make sure that that is an ablative procedure. So afterwards, you're using lots and lots and lots of hydration. Most of the time, we will give you something Post care. If we don't give you something post care, then make sure that you're using anything that has hyaluronic acid, anything that is a nice, gentle, not a thick moisturizer for um, three day, three times a day for the first week post care. If radio, the microneedling part was involved in the treatment itself, about four or five days after the treatment, you may see little track marks. Those track marks can take a few days to turn over. You are welcome to put makeup on, not a problem. If we have done the CO2 portion, then your skin is gonna be dry, it's gonna be red, it's gonna be flaky. We want you to avoid makeup for the entire time that it is dry and flaky um, because that skin cell is turning over. So it's not the putting on makeup itself, it's the taking the makeup off. When we take makeup off, we have to rub, we have to um, really massage whatever products that we're using. And those products, those makeup removers can be very, very harsh for that already irritated skin. So realize that your skin is going to be irritated. At the end of the day, if you don't know and you don't remember, treat it like a sunburn and you will not go wrong. Any issues, any complications, please, please, please call the office or email us, You Facebook us, uh, Instagram us. We will answer. You have plenty of ways to get a hold of us. Um, afterwards, once the skill is done healing, about that seven to 10 day mark, um, you can go back to life as normal. Exercise post um, CO2, definitely wait to sweat um, at minimum of five days after your treatment. Post only radio frequency microneedling. Again, nothing has happened to the surface of the skin. So you can start your workouts 24 hours after these treatments, no problem. Makeup, like I said, if you're red and itchy and flaky, wait that five days. Secret RF patients, you guys can go ahead and use it that evening if you want to, not a problem. Realize you are not going to see the results of any of these treatments until a minimum of 12 weeks. This 
this combination, individual treatment, all of it, you are still producing collagen six months to a year after you've done the procedure. So your results are only gonna get better and better.